Welcome to Technology FAQ. In this video, we are going to learn how to create this QR code generator. Here you can enter any text you want, click the generate QR code and QR code will be generated for you. So let's begin. We are going to create this application with HTML, CSS and JavaScript and we will also be using an external API to generate this QR code. So in this video, you are going to learn a lot of things like CSS grid, DOM manipulation and how to use external API. So first of all, we'll create a new folder, name it whatever you want, then uh, I'm going to use this image and then let's open this folder with Visual Studio Code and we'll create three files the first one will be index.html second one style.css and the third one will be script.js okay so let's begin with the index.html file Let's create the HTML boilerplate with uh, exclamation mark and hitting the tab button. Then let's give it a title of QR code generator, QR code -ter. Then uh, let's link the CSS file with a link. Then let's link the script file also javascript file with a script dot js now let's go to the body and create our html elements first we will create a div element with class of qr box inside that we will create uh, three elements the first one will be an image element in src of the default image we will give it an alt attribute of let's say qr code then below that we will create a text area text area and we don't need all these attributes so we'll delete them okay then we'll go below that and we'll in, uh, create a button and let's give it a text content of generate qr code and let's not forget to put the defer attribute here this defer attribute will will force the javascript to load after the content of this document has been loaded now let's go to style.css and style our application let's do some basic reset Now we will select the class QR box and give it a display property of grid. Then grid template columns. We'll create two columns. One will be one fractional unit and the other one will be auto. then give it a grid row gap of 10 pixels then we'll select the image element and give it a property of height height 300 pixels width of 300 pixels the padding of 1 rem then border 2 pixels solid with the color of VADA55 border radius radius of 0 0.5 rem and give it a grid column grid column of 1 slash minus 1 okay now 
let's select the text area element text area and give it an outline of none out none then height of 100 pixels then padding of 1 rem and border of 2 pixels solid in the same color okay let's give it a border radius border radius of 0 0.5 rem 0 0.5 rem okay and let's give it a grid column grid column of 1 slash minus 1 okay now let's style our button let's give it a font size of 1 rem then border none then outline also none then background color will be the same color then give it a padding of padding of 0 0.5 rem for top and bottom and 1 rem for right and left okay now let's give it a border radius of 2 rem it looks beautiful now let's give it a hover effect uh, button hover background color of a4 b e 4 b now as you can see when we hover over this button the color will change now let's give it a transition to smoothen the effect so we'll give it a transition of background color and duration of 0 0.2 seconds so the transition will be smooth now let's go to our javascript file and let's code this application now let's uh, select our qr code with uh, document document dot get uh, sorry document dot query selector query selector image element then selecting our qr text is this one this text area with equal to document document dot query selector text area so instead of writing this long document dot query selector again and again let's create a function let's say function let's give it a name of select and give it a parameter say el element and it will return the element so we say document document dot query selector and the element and go into it okay now instead of writing this document dot query selector here we can simply write select then let's select our button here generate qr button qr bit qr button of select 
button now let's add an event listener to our button qr button dot add event listener and let's listen for a click and when this button will be clicked it will run a function called let's say generate qr now let's define this function say function generate qr we don't need any parameter then we'll go inside the function body and let's initialize some variables let's let size the size of the qr code will be 1000 by 1000 for the highest resolution then let's say data means the text data will be equal to qr text dot value means whatever we will input inside this box we are getting it with the value property then let the base url base url of the api that we are going to use to generate the qr code so it is http colon slash slash api dot qr server dot com slash v1 slash create dash qr dash code slash okay then let's create our url so url will be we will use template literal here so double ticks and between that we'll write the variables with a dollar sign and braces and inside that we'll write the variables there is base url then question mark then data equal to again dollar sign braces and inside that the data we are going to send that is the text and ampersand size equal to dollar sign the size that is 1000 by 1000 so this is the url now we'll say qr code dot src equal to the url that means whenever this function will run it will it will update the image with the qr code so now let's test it let's say hello and press this button okay it's working okay now let's uh, change the font of this text here let's say here font family to be arial now it looks better so that's it guys if you like the video press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this if you have any suggestions for me then you can comment it down below see you in the next video